All right, hey guys, welcome to day 12 of this 21 day course. Today we're gonna to take what we did yesterday for the fire breathing and we're going to enhance and expand in complexity. So as with yesterday, if you are in the late stages of pregnancy, if you have any heart problems or arrhythmia, do not practice this. Also make sure you are doing this on an empty stomach and preferably in the morning, unless you're going out partying tonight, in which case you could do this for a little energy boost and staying awake. Um, I think that's it in terms of uh, precautions. So find your seat and gently close your eyes. Ensure that your spine is straight and tall. And draw your attention inward to your breath. Feeling the flow of the air. Feeling the life-giving air as you inhale. Noticing the chest and abdomen expand in three dimensions. Forward and back, left and right, rib cage expanding and relaxing. As you focus on your breathing, noticing any sounds around you. Noticing how the ground feels. How the air feels touching your skin. And let's do some yogic breath. So inhaling abdomen, chest, clavicle, releasing clavicle, chest, abdomen, finding the count that you feel works for you today. Let's do three more. One more time, abdomen, chest, clavicle, release, clavicle, chest, abdomen, and relax. You may open your eyes now. Okay, so today's gonna be kind of a mixture. We're gonna do fire breath, but we're going to do alternate nostrils like with Nadi Shodhana. So you're gonna use this technique from Nadi Shodhana with the right hand, thumb, and ring finger. Left hand you don't need. So we'll begin. Let's practice a round of 20 fire breathing first. So inhale deeply and go. Okay, that's 20. So that was your normal fire breath. So what we're going to do now is plug the right nostril and then inhale through the left only. Let's do 10 through the left. Inhale deeply and go. Relax and inhale. Exhale. 
And then close the left nostril. Inhale. Exhale. <laughs> Drop the arm. Inhale deeply, normally. Exhale slowly. Then we'll do one of normal fire breathing. So inhale deeply and go 20 rounds. Now we're going to inhale deeply and hold. Hold the breath in for as long as you feel comfortable. Mm, gently, slowly exhale very slowly. Okay, so that was one round. So it goes, close the right nostril, forceful fire breath left, inhale, exhale, forceful fire breath right side, inhale, exhale, forceful fire breath with both nostrils, then inhale deeply and hold for as long as you can, and then Exhale slowly. Let's do another round together just so we get that down. So take let's take one let's take three deep breaths together. Good. Let's start with the left. Inhale deeply. That was 20, inhale deeply. Exhale, close the left nostril, inhale deeply. Inhale deeply, through both nostrils, exhale. Now with both nostrils open, inhale deeply and go. Inhale deeply and hold. Holding the breath in. Floating through space. You may feel some tingling in the hands or the head, some slight pressure, and that's okay. That's all all right. And hold it as long as you can without feeling strain when you feel like you want to start breathing. Slowly exhale. And relax. Okay. So that was Kapalbhati, the fire breath with alternate nostrils and inner retention. So we just did two rounds together. You generally want to practice that between three to five rounds. We use a count of 20. I would say use at least 20, but you can go up to 30. You can even go up to 50. So if you do 50, I think three rounds should be enough. But yeah, you can do up to five. And you will find a, a deep relaxation, but it will energize you as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's one of my favorites. Um, and that's it. I have no, nothing else more to say about that one. So we'll see you here tomorrow for day 13. Almost finished week two, everybody. See you tomorrow. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I want to just take a moment to give a massive thank you to all of you that have been supporting my work by buying my book. If you haven't picked up your copy yet, 
The book is called Young, Successful, and Miserable, A Blueprint to Getting Unstuck and Reclaiming Your Natural Freedom. Now, this book is a result of a long internal process I went through myself when I felt very lost in life and my career, and it's really going to help you clarify your why, your values, your beliefs, how you got to where you are, and where you want to go next. And the bonus to buying this book is for every copy that I sell, I donate $2 US equivalent to two nonprofits for children. So you can see more information about where to get the book and about the two nonprofits that I'm working with in the description below in this video. So get yourself a copy today, help yourself, and help children in need at the same time. Thanks so much for your support, and I'll see you soon.